Hi, I'm Sundata Yet Villarreal Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction Software Package Series. This is our Lecture 2 of Week 1. Now let's proceed to our topic for today. So we have here uh, Microsoft Excel Spreadsheet. We have three topics, namely Understand Spreadsheet Software. The second is identify Excel window components. And the last one, we have understand formulas. Now, Microsoft Excel is an electronic spreadsheet program. An electronic spreadsheet program allows you to perform numeric calculations. This spreadsheet is also called a worksheet. Now, individual worksheets are stored in a workbook, which is the Excel file. Next is the business tasks you can accomplish using a spreadsheet. First is perform calculations. By adding formulas and function to worksheet data, for example adding a list of sales result or calculating a car payment. Next represents value graphically. By creating charts based on worksheet data, for example, creating a chart that display expenses. Next, generate reports. Creating workbooks that combine information from multiple worksheets, such as summary sales information from multiple stores. Next, organize data. By sorting data in ascending or descending order, for example, alphabetizing a list of products or customer names or prioritizing order by date next analyze data by creating data summaries and short lists using pivot tables or auto filters for example making a list of the top 10 customers based on spending habits and the last we have create what if data scenarios using variables values to investigate a sample different outcomes such as changing interest rate or payment schedule on a loan so this figure shows a picture of the uses of a spreadsheet next slide we have the advantages of using excel so we have first enter data quickly and accurately Recalculate data easily, perform what-if analysis, change the appearance of information, create charts, share information, and the last, build on previous work. So those are the advantages if you're going to use Microsoft Excel or any spreadsheet out there. So we have here in figure 2 shows a picture of the example of worksheet. Uh, you will notice uh, there is a what you call data uh, a record the display of the logo of a company and we have the display from the data itself it produces a pie chart graph right here and that is how useful a uh, spreadsheet is now Let's proceed to another, which is called uh, cell. So cell is the intersection of a column and a row. Now each cell has its own unique location, called a cell address. The cell in which you are working is called the active cell, and the name box displays the active cell address. Now we have also formula bar allows you to enter or edit data there is uh, what you call sheet tabs at the bottom that let you switch from sheet to sheet in a workbook and also from the bottom we have the status bar that provides a brief brief description of the active command or task in progress there's also a mode indicator that provides additional information about certain tasks for example, uh, ready, edit, and uh, calculate. Now in figure 3, there is a what you call shows a picture of an open workbook. 
So if you open an workbook, this image might represent the spreadsheet as an open workbook. Now in figure 4 shows a picture that indicated the selected range. So a range is a selection of two or more cells. So it should be right here. The selected range are those active cells. Now we have also a formulas. So formulas are equations in a worksheet. When creating calculations in Excel, it is important to first know where the formula should be, second know exactly what cells and arithmetic operations are needed, third create formulas with care, fourth use cell references rather than values, and the last determine what calculations will be needed. Next slide we have. Uh, figure 5 that shows a picture that indicate the arithmetic operators. As you notice, there is a what you call three columns, the operator, the purpose, and the example. On the first operator we have, that is a cross sign, which is called addition. And on our, our example is, uh, this must be put up in the formula bar, equals A5 plus A7. So the A5 cell must be added by A7 to get the total. Now we have also next on the addition we have minus sign which is subtraction or negation. As an example A5 minus 10. Now it became negated when the negative is the beginning after a cell. So for example uh, equals negative a5 uh, plus 10 so it is not called uh, negative but it is uh, called negation next we have asterisk as an operator its purpose is multiplication so the example we have here is equal sign a5 multiplied by a7 the fourth one is a slash it is called in the purpose of division in example we have a5 slash a7 the fifth one is percent so it indicates the percent of a number and the last is caret caret uh, having a purpose of exponent in example we have here uh, 6 caret 2 which is the same as 6 square now let's proceed to the next slide now in fix 6 shows a picture that displays a formula so the formula must be shown on the formula bar it can also be seen in the active cell if you wanted to congratulations you successfully finished our lecture 2 thank you and good luck